Angie. He basically mad because he went through my phone and saw I had another nigga over here. All right. So y'all just keep that in mind. He said, well, I don't trust your ass, shorty. You sound set up as fuck, bruh. Literally. Wow. Knowing you was just fucking somebody else. Like, what the fuck type nasty shit is that? Respect yourself, bro. You nasty as fuck. So he called me nasty as fuck because I had fucked a nigga the day before he came on my house. But the thing is, you called me to come over, bitch. And I knew I wasn't fucking you, bitch. I been put you in the friend zone. We been both said it. I said it right here. I said, I said, if we both single, you shouldn't be going through my phone. So that's how y'all know he was going through my phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He said, you nasty as fuck. Slop, fool. Mad as hell. I said, how? I never did nothing to you. We never set boundaries. Like, why are you being like that with me? I said, you taking your anger out from your past on me, bro. And I said, I literally thought we was good. How could you call me nasty, bro? I said, this shit, wow. He said, I'm not being like shit. Your ass needs to grow the fuck up, bro. You have fucking kids, and you wonder why they acting like that towards you. You dedicate all your time to that fucking life, which y'all know is a lie, right? I barely be on this bitch. He said, like, what the fuck? Take your kids out of some shit like that. All these good movies that just came out, and you never not once planned anything with them since I was there. Only been here for two weeks, bitch, and my motherfucking car just broke down, bitch. My kids go everywhere with me, yo. He said... You never play anything with them since I was there. You just separate yourself like what the fuck your fucking mother and how you treat motherfuckers when you on live. You too grown for all that showing off of shit. And this, what he say, showing off of shit and that and this and that. Whatever fuck you going out sad, shorty. So he only said that shit, y'all, because of the fact he only been here two weeks. And when I go live or if I'm with him, I literally don't be around my kids. I told y'all that, right? So that's proof. All he did was add a little bit because he mad. But I don't bring him around my kids and I don't do shit with my kids. What you nigga? I don't know you for two weeks. Fuck you. He said, and I'm telling you now, don't go talking shit about me on your live. Don't even mention me on that fucking live. Because if I find out, he said, because I can't find out. And if I find out, I will get your ass blocked for good. He talk about because I'm banned and he know I'm my business. He said, front your move on that live if you want to. And on my dead brother, you will see a side of me you're not going to want to see. So I did not text him. As y'all can see, that that was, uh I don't know if that was Monday or whatever. That was at 10 p.m. I didn't text him because I ain't like what he said. Don't mention my kids. Don't mention nothing, bitch. I don't bring my kids around you. You said I don't play shit with them because I don't talk about them to you. You don't know what I got going on, bitch. Fuck you and fuck your mindset. You're a young ass nigga. But I waited till the next day and I thought about what I wanted to say. And this is what I said. I said, my bro finna drop your jacket off at your job. I knew that would have pissed him off. I said, I wasn't gonna text back because all that shit you talking ain't hitting on shit. If we gonna talk about what we had and who better, nigga, you broke, always begging, don't shower. You was at my house damn that three days. I had to tell your dirty sock ass to get in the tub while you always wanted me to rub that bumpy ass back and that nappy ass hair. Second, you don't tell me shit about my kids. I know you two weeks. My kids always go out, nigga. My car just broke down. That's why we ain't went nowhere. But that there ain't none of your motherfucking business, bitch. And then I also said, worry about why your ex sucking on better dick while you sitting somewhere crying over her punk ass nigga. Oh, and by the way, while you saying your ex show you better, how about the nigga I fuck after your dick, after you dick better? At least. He hopped in the shower after and give me money while your broke ass begging. And ain't nobody got to mention your dirty ass on no lap. You ain't worth the homeless ass bum. That's what I meant to say. And then I said numb and then bum. And then eventually he said, funny shit ever, bitch. You wasn't even blocked because I guess he thought I thought he was blocked, block me. But I didn't give a fuck. He said, funny shit, bitch. You wasn't even blocked. You dumb hoe. My phone was just turned off because it was overheated, bitch. Left my ass off. Watch this, though. I said, don't text me because I was over it. This is the whole next day. He said, don't take my shit up there. I'm telling you now. I will come get my shit. I'm on my way already. Anyways, bitch. And he said, and I'm saying this respectfully. If my shit was at your crib, I'm going to come get it from your crib. Don't take my shit up to where I work, bro. Now you just doing too much. Oh, I'm doing too much, but bitch, oh, you know I can get your ass sad, bitch. Don't play with me. He gonna say, and homeless, or whatever the fuck you trying to say. 
He said, homeless bitch, I have a crib, left my ass off, never been broke, and never been homeless. Shorty, I always had money around your hoe, shorty, around you, or whatever. He said, shorty, left my ass off, I was never broke. I said, stop texting me, just come get your shit, little ass boy, grow the fuck up. He said, why spend my money if your dumb ass, gullible ass, trying to pay for everything to show off for your life? Left my ass off broke, bitch, I will never... I'll be there in 20 minutes, though, bitch, to get my shit from your crib. Simple as that. Don't take my shit to my job. And I'm acting that respectfully. I said, hurry up, nah, driving ass bus boy. <laughs> Yo, I'm arguing with this young ass nigga for no reason, bro, because I don't give a fuck about nothing this shit he's talking about. And I know he's fucking young and dumb. And he talk about all this dumb shit. He said it. He said, don't worry about my ex sucking on better dick. Left my ass off, bitch, never, because she texts me every day saying she missing fucking me, and I have messages to prove it. Left my ass off, clown, sad-ass, mad-ass little girl. He said, she more mature than your thought ass. Left my ass off, dirty bitch, don't even wear, wear any underwear. He said that. Okay, hold on, y'all. He said that because I got without panties on on that, bitch. He said, don't you wear underwear around your fucking kids and brother, they all... Okay, blah, 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 fuck all that, because he said dumb shit, and I don't like that. And I say, I pay for shit because I got it, because I responded to when he said that, um, whatever, whatever, like, if I want to drink, I pay for it, like, if I want something to eat, I pay for it, but he bought me food, and he did all that. I just didn't mention that. And he said, I'll smack the fuck out of you, shorty, uh, on my homie, because watch who the fuck you talking to, dirty hoe fucking another nigga right after I leave. Two niggas at that. He lied about two niggas. He just saw an, another text from another nigga. I only fuck one nigga. I'll tell y'all the truth. I, I don't give a fuck. He said, you a hoe. Left my ass off. He said, and I could be, he said, and I could do the same. He said, but you not my bitch and you not worth it. Ugly, fat, old ass, sad, shorty, still trying to twerk and act like you young. Grow the fuck up. I said, I don't care about none of that. No bitch being mature. I get paid to be childish while you motherfuckers out here stressing over a dead nine to five. And I only said that because this bitch ass always broke. And I said, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talking. I said, I was, I said, it was one nigga three days of not fucking you because you ain't my man. I don't give a fuck, boy. You ain't gonna slap shit. He said, yo, you dirty bitch. It's more coming. So he take, he sent me this. Hold on. Let me see if it pop up. He sent me this. Hold on. Okay. I don't want y'all to see what it said, but he sent me that and he put that on his social media. And I said, leave me alone. I see why she got your ass, a, uh, a restraining order on your ass. He said, here you go, dirty hoe. You want to go viral? I got you. This is how you know he's just mad because I fucked another nigga, y'all. No shame. And then he showed me that he know my Facebook. And I said, I'm fit to go to the police for harassment and your job. Bye, bum. All right. And it's more. And it's more, though. It's more because after that, like I told y'all, after that, I told y'all he motherfucking wore the BM or whatever, right? I told y'all that he texted me. Hold on. Hold on. Damn, I'm trying to end this. I told y'all that he texted me, right? I told y'all that he... Oh, fuck. This fucking phone. Fuck the... I told y'all that he texted me, right? This is my old ass phone, y'all. This is the old ass, raggy ass fucking phone with a screen saver. But I told y'all that he texted me, right? Like, I mean, he called me and apologized for all of that, right? And, um... Who was yelling? Anyways, he texted me after all of that, right? And, I mean, he'll call me and apologize. But that was after I showed him that I posted him on my social media. My social media, they really go hard. But I think I got, like, 20 likes and hella messages. Okay. So I sprayed out to him. And I showed him. I said, bitch, you want to go viral? I said, take me off your social media or bitch, I'm going to go to the police. And I said, bitch, and I'm going to put all of this shit that I got to you. Like, I got way more shit. Like, it's way more shit, y'all. I just only showed y'all, like, what they gave me back. They only gave me that back. This is so much more shit. I got screenshots. I got hella, hella shit. I took it like, bitch, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't taking a picture of his dirty ass socks. But I literally, it was other shit that I got. But on my mama, I looked at his dirty ass socks on my bed and I asked him, could he take his socks off or get his feet out of my bed? Like, his feet was so fucking dirty. Like, his socks was so dirty. I mean, it's like he was just walking around, like, on the floor. He wasn't walking around on my floor because, like I said, we cut him out to come straight to my room. My kids don't see him. Kids don't even know he's this. Okay, but he came straight to my motherfucking room and he took off his motherfucking shoes and put his dirty ass feet on my bed. And I saw his socks and I was like, oh my God. Like, I have never seen dirty socks before. Just like I don't wear panties, I really don't wear socks. I always wear flip flops. But when I do buy socks, bitch, on my mama, I put them bitches on and I put on my shoes. My socks, I don't, I ain't seen dirty socks 
since Dirty Socks on me, bitch. I forgot how Dirty Socks look at Tom Fox's feet. Oh, my mama. Them motherfuckers was filthy. That wasn't the first time. It's like almost every time I come to my house, he had Dirty Socks on. And that shit used to weird me out. So I used to ask him to get in the shower, like, before I fuck him. I'm like, could you get in the shower? Like, I know he's a young dude, and I was. I ain't gonna lie. I was, you know, like, bitch, I want to fuck, like, and whatever. But, bitch, go get in the shower. Like, yo. And, bitch, I'm not sucking your dick without a condom. I'm not fucking you without a condom. Like, you give me vibes. Like, bro, you give me vibes. But, I ain't gonna lie. You gave me hair wrong. I don't give a fuck, bitch. My doctor's appointment is Thursday. That's not tomorrow. That's, you know, it is tomorrow. Cause they went. And I'm going, and I'm not worried about it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, bitch, I don't care. I done been getting hit all my life wrong. I never used protection with it, but I always use protection with condom, and it never failed me. So, I ain't really worried about it. But, either way, um, he has dirty. He dirty as fuck. Like, and bro, I already knew I wasn't for the fuck with you. After the last time I fucked you, that's the last time I fucked you. That's why I fucked buddy, because I knew I wasn't fucking you no more. I was not fucking with you no more. That's why I fuck dude. I'm single, bitch. I fuck who I want. Y'all got all these niggas out here. Got 35,000 bodies, bitch. Y'all can't talk about me. Bitch, I only had two niggas I fucked outside of Shaji and one other nigga about years ago. Like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm single, bitch. And when I was fucking with Wayne, Wayne was the only nigga I was fucking for six years. This is the first time I've been single, and I literally was single for two years with nobody. Shaji broke my single virginity. No, no. I'm it was one guy before Shy. And then that was it. That was two niggas. Now it was two more niggas. Bitch, I got four bodies outside of Wayne. Like, bitch, and my ex before that, and my ex before that, and my ex before that. Bitch, I probably got 10 bodies. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I can do what I want with this pussy, bitch. It's mine. I'm not married. So at the end of the day, for him to call me nasty and for him to say I was bogus for not telling him I had a nigga in my bed. Raise y'all head on press one. If y'all bring a nigga to y'all house and tell him, okay, well, I just fucked the nigga the other day. So just say it out. Like, who does that? Like, bitch, you got me fucked up. I'm supposed to tell you a nigga that's not my man that I just fucked. Yep, he definitely young, dumb, and stupid, immature. Ivy, did you really hunt shot? Y'all really asked me that. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hey, would have got out of there. Yeah, that's what I said. I did. I kicked up a girl. But no, he wasn't at my house. You should have even went back and forth with bro. No, but that's the thing. I was bored, y'all. Do y'all get it? I'm bored. Like, I am bored. Like, I literally, nigga, for me to give him pussy, y'all know I got to be bored. Like, I can literally play with my rose, bitch. I got a whole, bitch, I ain't going to show y'all my rose. This right here, though. This bitch right here. At, bitch, hold on. Because I think you get banned for showing these motherfuckers. I heard somebody got banned for showing this. I didn't get banned. I showed it before, but I heard they started banning after they, I guess, did the update. For roses and shit after my fucking like, oh, that's a bit. Think of my rose right here. Oh, bitch, I just showed y'all. But anyway, nobody knows. <laughs> I was trying to let y'all hear the vibration. But anyway, woo -wah. Anyways, that's a tip of it, bitch. I can show y'all the tip of a drink. Fuck it, man. Shut up, I got that one my rose, bitch. That was my perfume. Y'all see it again. Hi, my perfume. Anyway, so long story short. Bitch, I could do my thing with that, bitch. Like, I don't need you, but by me wanting, like, to, like, just be feeling a man again. Like, I just want to feel human again, bitch. I was driving all my life, so I'm always in and out. Like, bitch, I'm in my car, out to the store, in, back in my car, out to get my kids, back in my car, back in the house. Like, so, being that I actually was on a scooter, y'all remember, I was on my scooter. So, I was on my scooter, and I met him. He didn't know I was on a scooter, but, you know, I rode my scooter, and then he was outside his store. I went in his store. He came in. He followed me, it seemed like, a little bit to, like, where I was at, but he started acting like he was straight up shit, but then when I went outside, this nigga saw me, though. He saw me in the checkout line. He's the manager, so he saw me in the checkout line and went outside again. So he went outside again, bitch. That's what he asked me for my number. Well, get your bum, dirty ass fuck up out of here, bitch. I don't know who this is, y'all, for the ad people. I don't know if people oh, are asking questions or what. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? <coughs> Hello? Mm -hmm. Drop down and get your eagle off, girl! Mm -hmm. but yeah so that's that on that y'all like yeah he texted me but he called me though he called me and he apologized he said i wanted to apologize to you he said because i took my hand got on you i could I, like i could literally like just so y'all could know that i'm not lying about him apologize because he called me he didn't text me <clears throat> i guess he called me because he probably thought he was hot after all that 
But I didn't block him because he had my social medias. He found my Instagram and he found my um Facebook. So I was like, damn, that nigga's a weirdo. But to be honest with you, I think he low-key found my shit because he went through my phone. And I think he just wanted to get to know me and see what type of bitch I was and young nigga shit. You feel me? Going through my phone and shit. Like, nigga, why are you going through my phone? Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, I don't care. Um, If I establish myself a single, we establish each other in friend zones, I'm continuing to look for my husband. Like, like this for love of Ivy shit is not fake. I literally had a flyer made for that. Like, I literally was looking for a man. But at this point, after that little incident I went through, bitch, I'm over it. I don't want no nigga no more. Like, I'm back. Like, I'm so done. There's this one last person that, like, I told y'all I was with after him. And that's the only person I'm potentially talking to. And he the nigga that just acting normal. Like, he's acting normal as fuck. He texts me every day, all day. And we slept together, shit like that. And he's trying to get these box of classes um, set up for my son that I don't have to pay for that he normally charge for. And, like, he's taking me out. Like, he want to go out this weekend. But I have to go to film for the um, for the love of, uh, not for the love of, the Queens of Chirac. I have to go film for that. So I can't be with him this weekend. And I could take him on the show with me. You know, just to make the show kind of spicy, but I don't want to fuck it up. Like, I actually literally looking forward to fucking with him, but, you know, I'm not really that hard up because at this point, like, what if he do me the same way? Like, I'm just tired. I'm tired of dating. Like, bitch, I just want my husband to fall out the sky, bitch. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. But at this point, I'm just fuck niggas at this point, bitch. You need a girlfriend, LOL. <laughs> Girls are just as toxic. Like, I could date a woman, like, but, I mean, like, I have to, like, get over the squeamish of eating coochie, but, like, seriously, like, I'm just, like, I'm, like, women could be the same, like, you know, I just don't understand, like, women could be just the same. It's, like, what this world gonna be feel with niggas fucking niggas and bitches fucking bitches? Like, oh, my God, like, oh, my God. I just don't understand it, like, I ain't never been a type to date a woman, but women are beautiful. are sweet they are nice we can be the devil like they can be the devil true i'm just messing with you oh somebody just texted me <laughs> who is this oh my god hey you do you need travel girl i can't get no dragons yeah i definitely do i'm gonna need them dragons later on though not right now she said she thought I was live, but I'm going to tell her I am live. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, it's overrated. I don't like the script that we want to be on. I am live. I'm back up. Back up. Back up. I'm banned. Yeah, I'm over this shit. But yes, girl, I got so much shit going on. Oh, y'all, y'all ain't even here to update about Soul Trip. I just eventually stopped texting him. I stopped texting him because I was tired of trying to find time for him, and I just let him go. And plus, I was already dealing. Like, I was already dealing with so much shit, y'all. Y'all see what I've been going through. Like, I only date that nigga for two two. I said two years. I only date that nigga for two weeks and look at that shit. Like, but that's what happens. Like, damn, y'all, I literally just unplugged my ring light, and I don't feel like plugging it back up. But, um... I literally, that's my, that's my oil burner. If y'all wonder what that's on, because my room light off and my ring light just went off. That's my oil burner, bitch. That motherfucker smells so good. Like, I got sprays for it. And you see how much I be using. It be how my room smells so good. Let me spray some more. I think I plug that motherfucker. I think I had a plug left for a whole day. And it gets so hot. Oh, shit. That shit just went in my eye. That shit gets so hot, but it smells so good. It just be having me feel like I'm in an ambience. <sighs> But yeah, y'all, he called me desperate, he called me old, he called me fat, like, he called me all type of shit, bitch, and I'm like, nigga, you felt like that, but when he called me and apologized, he, um, told me, because he always told me I was sexy, like, you know, for the little two weeks, he was like, you sexy as hell, and I was like, damn, I'm surprised you talked to me, and like, you know, I didn't look like shit, he, I had my little dress on my head, and I had on, like, a t-shirt, it wasn't even showing my titties, nothing like that, and I had just got hit by that car, y'all remember I had just got hit by that car, well, I just hit the car, like, all type of shit, y'all, and I just felt like, goddamn, like, you know, I met him, and then after, you know, a couple of days, he ended up coming to my house, and I had changed, you know, my clothes, so he saw me in my, what I could be, potential, and he's like, damn, baby, you look way, you know what I'm saying, like, better than I thought, like, imagine, woo. you know, he just started spitting game, and then, you know, we established that we were out the band, wasn't gonna fuck or nothing, and on my mama, 
We fuck. I ain't gonna lie, I gave it to him. But after that, you know, he ended up. Did he leave my house? Yeah, he left my house. Yeah, he left my house because I told y'all I had some tea. And then he left. Remember, I told y'all he got mad and said, oh, bitch, this, bitch, that, bitch, this, bitch, that. So he left my house. And then I ain't heard from him none that day. Then the next morning, that's when we started texting. He's like, don't, you know, he don't do the live shit and blah, blah. But then he came back to my house. He was cool with the live shit. He was all in my background. Then he took my phone, like all type of shit, y'all. It was just so much shit going on, y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, he just, he's just like an up and down roller coaster. And I know if I fuck with him, then I just can't. Mm -hmm. I just can't, bitch. I just can't, ho. I'm trying to see what that anything else. Uh, I could tell y'all. Until tomorrow. Now she's say something tomorrow. What time is it, y'all? It's time for me to get off here. I would have said, fuck it, I go live, but I need to. Ooh. I gotta get up. I gotta get up and take my kids to school in the morning and, well, you know, make sure they get up for school because I can't take them no goddamn way. I gotta walk my son to school and my daughter gotta get up. Why not became a fan? Uh huh. What else y'all wanna talk about? Y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to go? Mm -hmm. Trying to think, I had more story time to tell y'all. It was way more. It's just like, as the time went on, I was just over it, she, buddy ass, on ass, bitch ass nigga, talking shit to me. And it's like, if he wasn't so young and dumb, I probably would have felt some type of way. But a grown ass man, if a grown ass man told me shit like that, 